drunk. Chief Olisa, I have told you my partners in Cochabamba, Bolivia, are putting up final touches on this money. I promise you, once the money drops, I will give you your dough. Come on, you are my childhood friend. 20 million is not enough to run our relationship down. And you know it. Hmm? Well, I know that. Though I always count on you. But I cannot comprehend. In fact, I cannot fathom what has gone wrong. Why you don't want to give me my money? Chief Olisa, the money will drop soonest. Come on. Let's drink up. That is the belief. <laughs> Out here. Well, uh, the very first day you treated me, okay. I, I started having these funny feelings in me. Funny feelings? Yes. Like how? Like liking you, loving you, everything. Can you be my lover and then I will spoil you with money? Up oh, come on, forget about that. Just say yes to my money and forget about my kids. Mm. Okay, Chief. Oh, that's my baby. <laughs> but, Chief. You look very handsome. Oh, you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you telling Azuka about something like that when I'm still alive? Oh. Oh, so you guys have even gone to check the mansion without my knowledge? Uh, son, relax. I know what I'm doing. But dad, you don't need to explain this to him. Is it bad if I do what he's supposed to do as the first one? You I'm shut! That stinking mouth off this minute or I shut it for you. You shouldn't be here when I'm talking to dad in the first place. Meaning? Are you crazy? Oh, this is what it is. This is what it is, right? No, uh, it's all right. This meeting is over. Let's drink up, okay? Uh, Azoka, yeah. you know what to do. almost knocked me out that very day. I wish I could have you as doctor's prescription. Chief, I'm still your baby. Don't spoil me, please. Uh -huh. When you almost knocked me. I wish I could have you all by myself. But you're a married man. And you have grown up kids. But you felt my swag, right? Yes, Chief. Very strong. You can say that again. <laughs> Chief, I have to take my leave now. Okay. Yes, Chief. Oh, it's all right. Uh -huh. Okay. See you. All right, baby. Give it to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I must confess, you are the best. Hope to see you in the evening. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Chief, I'll see you next time. Alright, alright, alright. I have right. to go now. I'll see you. Okay, okay now take care of yourself. Chief. That's my baby.
Daddy, what's going on, Dad? <laughs> Daddy, what's going on, Dad? Daddy, what's going on, Dad? Daddy, what's the problem? I don't know what's what's, what's, what's wrong with that? I don't know. I just met my dad, Daddy. Just hold on, hold on. I don't know what's wrong with my dad. <laughs> Daddy, don't do this to me. 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 Where is mom? She's with the doctor. She's with the doctor. Mom. Daddy, don't do this. Daddy, right Daddy don't do this to me. Daddy, remember the promise you made to me. Daddy, don't do this. Daddy, Daddy, don't do this. Daddy, wake up. Daddy, wake up. Mrs. Omar, excuse me, ma. Your card is ready. Oh. You can see the doctor it's in his office. Okay. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh -huh. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Who are you? Angel of Death. Excuse me. That's my name. How did you get in here? Have a nice day. Excuse me. Excuse me. Who are you? To your father. My father? I mom, mom, let's, 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 let's go. Let's go. Wait, what happened to dad? I am not sure. Let's get to the hospital first. I'm, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm let's, coming to get let's, let's, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This is pure incompetence. How could you and your people be so careless to have allowed this happen? I understand your anger. But this kind of a thing has never happened in this hospital. If you want to take legal proceedings against this hospital, I can understand. Doctor, will that bring back my husband? <laughs> it won't. Quite a silly thing to say. I, I, I just don't know what else to tell you. Um, doctor, did any of your staff get a clear picture of the person that committed this crime? Not so much. Everything happens so fast. Yes, come in. Come in. Where is my money? When are you giving me my money? Or do you think that you can just defraud me like that? Shifu, Lisa, you lost your money. I equally lost my too. The business did not go as planned. How many times do you want me to explain this? Well, I don't believe you. Because I know it's your plan and you plan all this whole thing just to keep my money. It will not work. Well, I don't know what else to tell you. Just tell me when to come and pick my money. I told you the money is gone. Yours and mine. The business was a bad one. It's not my fault. Neither is yours. This just happened. Chief Udo, let me remind you. No one, I said no one pulls the tail of a tiger without being hurt. Give me my money. Else, you see the other side of me. I mean, the big. 
digital sign of me to Google. I give you 48 hours. I mean, 48 hours to return my money. I don't think we should take this lying low. That man just threatened your life. Forget him. It's only bluffing. Where were we? Chief Ulisa. Excuse me. Chief Ulisa is behind this. He threatened dad at home a couple of days back. Then we should go to the police. This is family matter. It's best I leave you. But mom, it was a business gunsaw. Chief Olisa was discontrolled. He threatened our dad's life. What do you even mean? But it's pointless. The business in question was not legitimate. It wasn't. What are you even saying? What do you mean the business was not legitimate? <laughs> mom, I can't answer that. It's okay, Mom. It's okay. I and Azuka will handle this in our own way. What is going on here? Somebody should talk to me. Mom, what? I what? said it's okay. It's okay. It appears that both of you are out of your senses. How could you accuse me of killing your father, my own boss and friend? Chief, exactly what you did. You threatened him right in my presence, you remember? Well, I said those things out of anger, but I didn't mean them. <laughs> Due respect, Chief. The Chief only said that I know is capable of doing that. Are you out of your mind? Chief, there would be an investigation. And if in the course of this, it's established you have a hand in the death of our father, you will pay dearly for it. Are you threatening me? No, sir. It's a promise. Let's leave here.
come here after killing our father. I can't believe this. We need to discuss that man. Um, I will discuss that later. As you can see, my fiancé is here. We'll talk about it later, please. You can go now. Emeka, so your so-called fiancé is more important than our dead father. As we can leave this place this minute. Don't get me upset. Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. We rise like tall buildings as the chemicals they take us higher. The night's young and it's just begun as she puts her hand in mine. We wanna chase the night. husband times without number about the death of chief and he said he knows nothing about it but azuka said your husband threatened um, chief olise the other day yes that's what they said but in this case i don't know who to be <laughs>
sorry for the way I reacted in the car a while ago. I don't know what came over me. It's quite unbelievable. For you to think that I'm capable of killing someone. In fact, I have not recovered from the shock. I know you are not capable of murder. Now listen to me. I have never killed before in my life. And I will not start now. I loved Chief Udo like a brother. I know. Both of us have come a long way. Which is why everyone thinks you kill him. Is there any possible reason for that? Hmm. Chief Udo and I did a business some time ago worth 20 million. Though he refused to give me my share. But we sorted it out and he gave me my share. So why are his children accusing you of killing their father? I don't know. Maybe those boys are on drug. This is quite crazy. Imagine me to kill someone and that person will be my best friend. It's not possible now. It's not possible. Chief, afternoon, sir. This letter is for you. Okay. Sir? I want us to talk about something important. Okay, sir. Um, do you think it would be a bad idea for me to add one more person to you? You need another bodyguard and the hitman. Good. I have a friend who is out of job at the moment. I will ask him to see you tomorrow. That would be very nice. But Chief, if I may ask, why do you need another bodyguard? Hmm. Chief Olise and his family needs another bodyguard. We need to beef up our security because the situation around us now is not good. Right. And I don't want to take chances at all. All right, Chief. I will do that. I will ask my friend to see you tomorrow. As soon as possible. Thank you, sir. Is it true that my husband killed his own friend? It can't be possible. How would how would he be the one? to kill Chief when both of them have been childhood friends. I believe my husband. He can't do such a thing. He can't. I trust my husband. I trust him. He can't. In your opinion, do you think Chief Ulisa killed your father? I mean, let's set aside what Azuka feels. Because I saw how close that man was to your father. So that you'll be surprised what people can do for money. Chief Ulisa is the only one that threatened my father. The only one with a real motive. Hmm. I think he killed him. This is a very big accusation. But aside the threats, is there anything else? No. Nothing else. And that's why we've not involved the police yet. So what's the way forward? I really don't know. But we just have to get an evidence. And the police needed to prosecute him. Chief Ulisa will never go scot-free for what he did. Well, let's hope you, you lay your hands on the evidence needed, okay? Because I would also want him to pay if actually he is the one that killed your father. 
he will not go unpunished. Mom, you say you want to see me. Asuka. Yes, Mom. Don't ever undermine me again in this house. Mom, what are you talking about? I'm talking about the show of show you put up when Chief Olisa and the wife visited. Oh, do you want me to apologize, Mom? I just want you to get the message. But Mom, there's something that I want to talk about. But since you're not in a good mood, maybe I'll come back later. Well, if it is about thinking that Chief Olisa killed your father, don't bother. No, I'm not talking about Chief Olisa, Mom. Then, let's get it. Do you now want to talk about that issue? What issue, Mom? The one you told me you wanted to discuss with me the other day. Oh, I'm thinking about leaving this house, Mom. Yes, what? Mom, it gets really uncomfortable here with what is going on. <sighs> Are you talking about your brother and his fiancée? I don't see the reason why both of you should not coexist together in this house. You've always been fighting. You've always wanted the same thing. What really changed? No, Mom. Emeka always wanted everything I have, even while we were in school. He always wanted the same thing. He envies me more than words can express, Mom. He's your brother. Is that why? It's so complicated. Sometimes I wish I could just leave. Hmm. We are family. Our family stay together. Then tell your son to stop making my life miserable, Mom. Soka, I sincerely believe you need to get another girl. Mom, you are not listening to me. Emeka is out there to get me, Mom. That's not true. He is your brother. Both of you are united by the ties of blood. I wonder what would have happened if we were not blood. Well, you will never find out. Because you are only blood. Hmm? You'll be fine, my son. Everything will be all right. Discussing about Chief Olisa to see how we can handle his issues. Hmm. And um, some way, somehow, we talked about you. I want to ask you something. What is it? Did my kid brother ever indicate? interest in you or did he ever show any kind of likeness? No. Okay. And if he did, would you have accepted him? Emeka, there are some questions you don't ask a lady. I'm afraid this is one of them. Chinwa is a simple question. Would you have preferred Azoka to me? It doesn't matter. It matters to me. Emeka, what do you want? What do you want from me? You asked me to marry you. I accepted. Now you have me all to yourself. What else do you want? I'm, I'm 
sorry. I'm really sorry. I don't know what came over me. You know what? Azuka said you've always been jealous of him. That you've always wanted what he has. And I'm beginning to think that's true. That's not true. Then why do you ask these questions? Or do you feel threatened by your younger brother? I am not threatened by anybody. Wow. This is getting interesting. <laughs> What is it? You have a message, Peter. Which message is that? Good job, Murphy. Thank you, sir. I'm proud of you. <laughs> um, here is a uh, part of your payment, two thousand dollars. I will get the rest across to you. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure working with you. Same here. And uh, one more thing. Don't lodge the money into any account. Okay? I need you to disappear. I'll find a way to get the balance to you. That's suspicious. Ah, the police will pin the mother on me. Oh, that wouldn't be out of place. Your mother had chief on this, I remember. Yes, at your order. Just do as I said, and I will see you on the other side. Evans. And please, there's an emergency. Yeah, row two has five. Okay, okay, okay. Confirmed. <laughs> the boss so is gone for good. It's all right. I will send your balance across. Okay. I believe you. I know so you are lot in the fair. The boss! Why, madam? I understand what you mean. You need to hang in there. You have come this close to give up. Don't worry. Police will give you all the necessary support. Hmm. Hmm. It's fine. I guess I'll try. Do you think he has suspected any of your move? Not really. Okay. 
I don't think so. But he said he's sincerely in love with you. Listen, Emeka is a desperado. Who would stop at nothing to get what he wants? Understand? So, yeah, as soon as he thinks that I could jeopardize his plans, <laughs> the next option would be to silence him. If that is the case, we need to speed up. How dare you! Are you crazy? How dare you! You're hurting me! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How long has this been going on? I I take it once in a while. It's nothing to worry about. Really? Yeah. It's not a big it's not a big deal. I am not an addict. If that's your fears. I'm so depressed, that's why. And if to you it's a big deal. I am ready to stop it. I promise. Oh, okay, sure. I called you because the girl you wanted me to talk to didn't show up yesterday. Huh? She didn't show up? She did not. Oh. So what are we going to do now? Maybe I should go to her house. What do you think? Hmm. Oh, you know, it's that girl that I want to use to set to make her up. Oh, yeah. And that actually brings me to the question I wanted to ask. Chin, what is going on? <laughs> Relax. Soon you will know. Soon, he said. <laughs> Sincerely, I, I don't know what you're up to. I don't know what you're up to. Oh, it's fine, I'm here. He says so. <laughs> there is something I want to tell you. What is that? I want to set a make her up. <laughs> set a make her up? Yeah. How? I want to use a friend to set him up. How do you intend achieving it? Good idea. I think so. <laughs> you are a bad girl. I know you have something to do with Azuka's setup and also the death of Chief Ulisse. But tell me something. What stops me from going to the police with this story? You wouldn't do such. Then tell me everything. From A to Z. I want to hear it. I could be a great ally. And together we can pull this through. You don't strike me like that kind of a person. The world is full of surprises, my dear Emeka. Oh, what is your motivation? Money. Now, are we getting on with it? Or should I go to the police with this story? My father was a drug dealer. The company, among other things. The front door properties. They are all camouflaged just to deceive people. Emeka, are you serious? Then why set up Azuka the way you did? Azuka is a nuisance. A pain in the neck. My father preferred Azuka to me. My own kid brother. I noticed that. You can now see why I had to orchestrate his death. What? You killed your own father? Yes, I did. And I pinned it on Chief Olisa. 
I took advantage of the disagreement between the both of them. And I also framed Azoka. You know, with Azoka in the prison, the family fortune would be mine. I mean, ours. Emeka! You know what? I don't think I can listen to this any further. No, you will. See where you wanted the truth. Here is the truth. Chiwe, I am not a good person. If I could orchestrate the death of my own father and send my kid brother to prison. So you can imagine what I would do to anyone who gets in my way. Emeka, I want to help you realize your ambition. I have an uncle who is an influential justice in the Republic. He can help us ensure that Azoka gets a capital punishment. Interesting. Are you sure about this? Yes. Uh, but what will it cost me? 30% of the entire fortune. Signed and delivered to me. Oh no. Jinwei, that is high. You know we're getting married. And whatever I have is yours. Those are my terms. Should take it or should leave it? Or should I go to the police? 20% is fine. 25. Deal. You want to tell me why you're so excited? <laughs> well, um, I was thinking about us. Okay. The kind of life we're going to have. <laughs> the wonderful children we're going to bring into this world. Yeah, that's true. We have a high expectation. And guess what? I know we're going to be happy together. Mm-hmm. Um, I want you to come with me to somewhere. I have a very huge surprise for you. Wow. I love surprises. Yeah. <laughs> but I also want you to do something for me too. What is it? Make love to me. Your wish is my command. Come here. Oh. Something just came in from police headquarters in Abuja. Oh. Something like what, sir? Oh, you know. I've told you this in office, but due to our busy schedule, we have been promoted. Oh yeah. my god! To police DRSP. Oh my god! Me? DSP? Oh god! I can't believe this! Oh! Thank you! Alright. 
DSP. Oh God. <laughs> Congratulations, Miss Ifedeba. You know, to whom much is given, more is expected. Yeah. I will surely live up to my responsibilities, my new responsibilities. And I promise, I will never let the police force down. Okay. You, know, you have been doing an excellent job right from day one. Thank you. So, so, I need to do this for you. Congratulations once more. Thank you very much. Thank you for the confidence you reposed on me, the recommendations, the encouragement. I'll forever remain grateful to you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. Oh, good. You're welcome. Um, yes. you know, they need us at the office, so let's go. Okay. Okay, Azuka is on his way there now, and the police are also on their way there. Leave that place very fast. <laughs> now, I will get everything that I want. I will get everything that is rightfully mine. <laughs> responsibility for the recommendations I will forever be grateful I am so happy for making myself DSP with my knowledge and my wisdom
Baby, <laughs> you won't believe this. The secret has been revealed. Yes. What secret is that? <laughs> secret about Emeka and Chiwe. What is that? Okay, I will tell you. Chiwe is a police officer. Yes. <laughs> this is the best joke of the year. At all, no? Don't say that. <laughs> Don't say that. Baby, I'm not joking. I am not joking at all. Let me tell you. Yes, they just promoted her to a DSP. Yes. I can't believe this. <laughs> I know. I have to see Azuka before I can believe it. Okay, fine. Ah, ah. Chinwe, a police officer. Yes. <laughs> doing <laughs> you can say that again <laughs> I mean nobody knows I'm a police officer even when I told Azuka he could not believe it <laughs> like, seriously are you a genius thank you <laughs> you know what thank you very much for visiting me okay don't worry next time I'm gonna visit you I salute you <laughs> come on good <girl. laughs> all right see ya all right Everybody, including me. <laughs> Ima, what did I do again? No, tell me, what did I do? So, all this while I've been hanging out with a police officer, and you've never for once mentioned it to me that you're a police officer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you see, that was why I told you then that I knew what I was doing. Exactly. Exactly, you knew what you were doing. And no one will ever believe that Emeka was behind all that has been happening to Azuka, his own brother. My dear, I had to put up with the game. You are a genius. Sincerely, you pull the stones at the right time. She can say that. You are a superwoman. <laughs> Thank you. My brother, yeah. do you know that Emeka has been arrested for drug trafficking? Really? But why? How? So this is how Emeka makes his money. I can't believe this. I can't, I can't believe this. It's unbelievable. Oh. See, I want them to deal with him. I want them to, to finish him. Really? But you know, you're a friend of Emeka. You're also the friend to their family. <laughs> Why do you think of such? I can't be a friend to a drug trafficker. He's not my friend. Yeah. Well, I have nothing to say. I have nothing to say. You can't believe this. Emeka of all people. Yeah. I think it was a setup. What? Yeah, I think. Emeka. 